Hey guys, welcome back. It's day three now of the CWL. It's day three of the Clan War League. Let's take a look at how we are doing. We are currently up right now, eight out of 11 triples. They're two for 13. So this war looks really good. How did we do yesterday? If you guys saw yesterday's video, uh, we my two attacks fell short, which means we still finished at 40. We still went 10 for 15 and I failed my two attacks, which we could have went 42 for could have got 42 stars we could have went 12 for 15 dang we did really well here um unfortunately i uh i didn't do good i did not do good out of those five attacks that failed um but anyways let's jump to war three this one looks like uh we're definitely gonna win this one they only have two more attacks and yeah there's there's no way i think we would have to get some zero stars or no no attacks even though we got four and i got two of the attacks left but what's the plan here we're gonna be coming in on number three here one one pirates and let's take a look at this base so interesting right um this is gonna be very interesting tech and again i'm not using the blimp with super wizards i know with the invisibility spell like hard what do you mean you've been doing it everywhere i know i just it's not i don't think it's gonna be uh worth it on this base for all and plus i've also just let uh, my clan mates pick all the bases that they want and i just take whatever is left that they don't want i guess no one has plans on so i gotta come up with a plan on both my bases which i have and i'm gonna showcase here and what do i have in my army take a look at this take a look at my army and see if you guys can plan out the attack if you guys are really trying to get better pause the video obviously with the base and with this in mind and start the plan see what you're gonna do and you guys will see what i do and plus if i fail i'll bring it at the end of the video to see if the plan was solid or if it was good who knows but you can see here I've got six lightning spells. What in the world? Two earthquakes? This is crazy, right? Um, but here we go. Let's go through the plan. And hopefully you guys are really trying to get better. You guys will plan it and then compare it to my plan here. So good luck on your plans. Here we go. The plan is going to be as follows. I want to drop. Let's see. Can I get this to work? Here we go. Okay. So I want to drop five lightning spells right here. Boom. And the five lightning spells will be on the corner of this this and this right plus i can damage the royal champion as she walks through here so there's gonna be one two three four five and i gotta be very careful i've done it before where i drop all six i don't want to do that i definitely don't want to do all six i'm gonna do five here so five is gonna be like this and two earthquakes so boom scatter shots gone expo's gone and that expo's gone that's what i want and then once that's gone there's a reason why i did that right why why not go for uh this multi here right now why not go for this and do boom 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 and this all goes down and then you're good right and bam that's gone no worries there's a reason i'll explain a little bit later but if i could take this corner down and then i can get a giant and then a queen behind she grabs all this trash whatever and then i get my king to go this way yeti wizard to kind of grab this there might be tesla's over here and i get the ice golem to go through here i want my king to run in here to take out the single and defending king why wow, those this will all start to come into play in a little bit i'll drop a balloon minion to take out this mortar and then this is the this is the important thing right and so i do have what i have one ice golem Ooh, i've got one ice golem do i for Ooh, wait a sec how many balloons i got i got 23 I might take a second ice golem. Actually, I think I got to. Yeah, I think I got to take a second ice golem because I need to drop an ice golem over here for the royal champ so I can get my royal champ. She's good. Because if this is gone, think about this. If this is gone, this is gone. Ice golem comes in here. So these arch towers are distracted. Now my royal champion, she can make her way. Let's uh, let's change the royal champ's color here. Um, Actually, no, I think, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and change the royal champion's color. Uh, Let's just put her pink here. So royal champ can come into here boom 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 she can go this way this way this way this way and then right there she makes it to this eagle right because i feel like the royal champ's pathing can make it all the way to the eagle that is why i'm doing it like that right and hopefully she won't pull out the cc in her process i don't think so um but i'm gonna drop her from this angle she usually goes boom 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 here because this stuff will be gone and she goes like that because the queen removed this and then the king removed the enemy king so my royal champ won't get stuck on this king here so that's why it's very important for my king to get the defending king i need that down and the reason why i'm not lightning this section right here is because my royal champ can clear this so let's say if i lightning this and i do my queen here i do the king here and i send the royal champion in for the eagle now i gotta do my lalo right so the Lalo's got to fly either this way or it's got to fly either this way, right? So 
If it flies this way, the problem is the hound is going to be up here and there's nothing that's going to protect my loons as they make their way through here, right? So if my balloons come into here, then this stuff is just going to, the scatter shot just completely own my loons and it'll be really bad pathing. But if this is gone, right, with the initial plan from the Royal Champ, and that's gone, Royal Champ comes down here, now the Lalo comes here and then the balloon, this will be gone. Balloons can target this, move here, and then they can move straight into this air defense and have this pathing. Hope if I can get this to, to, to actually work. Um, so this is the pathing that they will go. They'll go right through here and they'll go like this around the base, right? That's it. I know I'm explaining for very long. If you guys want to skip, you guys scan to see the actual live attack. But a lot of you guys like this planning. And so as the Lalo comes around this way, oh, this is the Lalo. I don't know why this is not working. As the Lalo comes like this, I'm going to drop the blimp for the town hall, right? Blimp will go for the town hall with the sneaky goblin and the dragon in there to take that down. And then I'm going to drop my four headhunters in here and warden ability and the headhunters will kill the queen and the royal champion right in the middle. Plus the royal champion will be damaged from the five lightning spells that I plan to drop right on that. So she should go down even quicker. So yeah, that's the plan. Does it make sense? Hopefully it does um, because that's what I want uh, to do. So that's why I'm taking out the scatter shot is for the loon pathing and all that. So I don't know if there's Teslas near this eagle, but if that eagle doesn't go down, you pretty much say goodbye to the attack. Wish me some luck. We are live. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Royal Champ, make your way over there. Five lightning. Very, very important. Don't drop six because one of the lightning is going to be used for potential headhunters that come out of the defending clan castle. That's why I've got a sixth one. All right. Here we go. Zoom in. One, two, three, four, five. And then double earthquakes. Double earthquakes through here. Let's go with the giant, queen, yeti, wizard. Okay. King. Ice golem. Pass this pop. So we're going in through here. King gets locked down to. We're gonna have to freeze this single. Alright, so Queen's gonna get her ability off. Off her ability. Ice Golem locks onto that. Okay, perfect. I did have to go freeze. Where's my Queen going for? Okay, hang on. Queen is actually with a minion here. Is that gonna do anything? Uh Queen dies. Let's drop the balloon like this. King's ability goes off. So ice golem here. And that's gonna die. Drop the royal champ. Okay. We'll drop the minion. Alright, so we're making our way around. The issue is time, right? The royal champ's going through here. Please go to the wizard tower next. Oh, there's that there's that frozen. Okay. Royal champ's making our way. We got a minute 39. What else can I drop? Probably drop a minion over here in the corner. Okay, so roll champ. All right, just trying to clear that. So we go hound. Oh, I just dropped two hounds there. Oops. Boom. 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 Grand Warden. RC ability. Poison. Boom. Boom. Limp up at 12. Minions. Headhunters. So that, that stayed up. I'm going to go Warden ability. Clear all you. We're gonna freeze the town hall. I'm gonna haste around here. Drop some minions. Oh, that eagle. We're gonna haste into here. The issue is, oh, there's a lava hound that's right there. Town hall does go down. Eagle needs to go down here. We got a minion. We got one lightning spell. We gotta pinpoint that, that right there. We do get that. We got a minion over here. Oh no, the hound. We pulled out the hound and that's gonna ruin it. Dang it! I know I took so much time on the on the raid, but the royal champ got locked onto the enemy royal champion. <sighs> Dang it. I have just the Tesla and the Arch Tower still standing. And now Dang! Gonna fall short. It was an ambitious plan, but that eagle staying up, like I said, uh cost cost the rate. Let's just drop the lightning here to get a little bit more percentage. But another one in the 90s. Rip. Dang. 
it was ambitious with the royal champ she didn't get the eagle artillery which is what i needed it took so much damage from it and that is what uh prevented it from going down so let's just quickly go through but yeah the royal champ i thought maybe she could stay away from the ending royal champ but it didn't look like she wanted to queen goes in here there was a tesla farm which was good but i did have to use that one freeze unfortunately but the king got a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff here it was a multi-target inferno king's ability goes off ice golem and then this yeah champ rip to the enemy defending royal champion um did she even get it off i think she did yeah the, the ability went off there skip took out the other sweeper the defending royal champ stayed up i cleared the uh heroes nail trap was right there froze the town hall for the balloons running around and then the snaky goblins took out the town hall but then the eagle locking on to uh dang, locking on to that ruined it rip rip the final loons but all right so we failed that let's go and try to come up with the next plan and see what we can do we're in on the next space that we're going to come in with a plan and we've got what a queen charge lala what a queen charge crazy i'm doing a queen charge what is this this is mad chaos here um so yeah this is gonna be the plan let's let's see if this works i don't know um <laughs> but i'm gonna probably take a dragon and uh balloons inside of my blimp cc or i'll have a stone slammer as well that i could end up using but since there are three multi-target infernos right here um that's that's the reason why i'm going with the uh the queen charge right so what this is what i want to do I need to get i want to get my queen to go right through here to get all this value right so how do i do that i need a funnel here and i need a funnel here to get my queen to go in okay simple enough i'm going to drop a balloon baby dragon to do this i'm going to drop a yeti wizard up top here so the yeti can hopefully maybe grab the dark elixir storage and the wizard will step up behind to help grab it as well um and then we could do the king right here so he goes boom 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 like baby dragon can clear this the king goes here boom 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 and then he runs in, and then he is able to get the defending queen, which is going to be helpful. But also, he's going to be setting the funnel like this. So if the funnel is set, then we can drop a super wall break right here to break. Then drop the queen. She can go in, and then we can super wall break again right through here to open up this compartment, right? And so that's what I want. I kind of would love just to break this part, but I think that's going to go for here. Then I want my queen to walk in here. And then for her to go this way, then she goes for the scatter shot, and then drop a jump spell right here. And then the queen charges her way, takes the jump. She clears the CC, but then she can grab the town hall, the sweeper, this multi. And then she can grab this back and multi, this all through that. And then I can start my Lalo right over the top of this way. Boom, fly this way here. Fly through the base just like this as we make our way just like that across into the eagle and all that. And the royal champ's over here, so I'll drop some headhunters. Um, warden ability through it at the angle to try to get the royal champion uh, and not the king. And because we do have three ground expos, that is going to be quite annoying for sure. Um, and then the queen will just be on the wall. She'll continue through the wall and kind of grab the rest of this stuff down here. So um, let me go ahead and request the CC. And then we'll be ready to give it a shot. It all comes down to this queen charge. If the queen can stay alive, if she can do it, we have a chance of tripling. If not, it's all off the table. We'll, we'll have to find out what happens. And here we go. We're in. A queen charge. What am I doing? Okay. Here we go so let's go a balloon balloon baby dragon right here clear that go yeti with the wizard over here okay so he's trying to grab that dark elixir storage which doesn't look like he will but the king here the wizard might oh okay so the yeti might do that wizard what are you doing wizard what are you doing oh wizard Oh, wizard. Okay, so the king's gonna run in. That's super wall break here. King's ability, like that. Alright, so he's gonna clear the enemy queen. Okay, so... Oof, see, this is still up. Got the queen, balloon, healers. Another super wall break through here. Let's see if the queen will take it. No, queen, walk in. Walk straight in, queen. What do we got? What's the CC? Let's go ahead and do this. 
Kill the CC off, please. Okay, so we've got goblins on goblins. And more headhunters. Freeze you. Okay, so the queen. Oh, see, this is the issue. Hopefully the queen runs in. Oh, she's going outside. Oh, queen, why? Queen, why? We got a minute 30. Oh, this is not what I wanted. This is not where I wanted this queen to go. Go ahead and rage her up through here. She's walking this whole area. Healers, please do something. She's going to clear that. Drop a jump here. We can, you know what? We can send the royal champ for the town hall. Let's go. We got a minute left for this Lalo. Queen's going to have to clear this. Queen is going through. Her ability goes off. Oh, man. Let's drop you here. Grand Warden down here. Drop some balloons through this. Queen's ability went off. We can drop you through here. Grand Warden's flying. Oh, everything's going down. Is my Warden on air? He is. Gonna freeze the town hall. Stone Slammer down here. Roll champion. Oh, the Warden, what are you doing? Warden, I lost all my loons. I lost everything. Everything's going down. Warden ability through that. Some minions for, for cleanup. Oh, that queen went completely the wrong way. Dang, queen, why? The wall break. I knew that was the one issue. I needed to get to the core, and that made the difference. Oh, two ground skellies. At that point, I realized it was all over once the queen was going the wrong way, so I had to just try to save it with the, uh, with the, uh, make sure the queen got the town hall at that point in CWL, right? But dang, this is where I needed the queen to go, so should I have jumped in the second layer and not wall broke? That's the question. I'm not good at queen chargers, guys. I'm, I should stick to the Sui Lalos and things like that. Um, but it was all because the queen went on the outside and the wizard didn't grab this here. Um, which made it really annoying, unfortunately. And the king went like this. He did He did go where I wanted. This section right here and the second super wall break opening. Yeah, the wrong wall. And this dark elixir storage staying up really ruined it. And then the queen went the wrong way. I should have probably just jumped the queen here into this section. And then everything would have been a lot better probably instead of super wall break. That I think that one small change might make a huge difference. And then the queen going the wrong way. Yeah, I should have uh, not super wall break the second one because I wanted to jump through here. Uh, rip. I need that scatter shot down. Dang it. All right. Well, for you, it'll be a moment of time for us to try to fix it. And for me, it'll be 24 hours. So, at th yeah. So at this point, I had to try to uh, save it here. But let's see. to try to fix these attacks. All right. So we're going to try to fix it. And we're going to come in with just about like two changes here. We've got only two hounds and not three hounds this time. And we got two yetis. Biggest thing is... This outside section, we really want funneled because we want this queen to walk in here. So we're going to lightning the raw champ, get her damaged, and do all this so that we can then Lalo into the town hall. Yes, we know where the tornado trap is, but we're still going to Lalo the same way. So let's see. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. But let's see how important getting that queen in towards the middle is. All right, so we're going to drop the yeti and a wizard inside of here. We're going to go with the king, the giant, and the queen like this. Okay. And we can go with another Yeti like that. Probably a minion over here. The Yeti will help clear all this stuff. Go Ice Golem like this. And we're going to have to freeze that single. A real nightmare. A real nightmare of a single. Alright. So that Ice Golem, or that Yeti is actually tanking the Archer Tower. Which is actually pretty nice, not going to lie. Uh, drop this Ice Golem now. Minion cleared a beautiful funnel. Queen's going to step in. One shot this Archer Tower. Down it goes. Now she's going to be able to step up. Pop her ability. Let's see, pop that king ability here, take out the enemy king. Look at this. Because of that yeti, the queen got that multi-target in front. Look of how much of a difference that one yeti did to help set the funnel for the queen. Crazy. Now we can drop the royal champion in towards this the uh, eagle. Probably pop her ability here, skips through a couple of this stuff. She's onto the eagle. Look at that difference. Just like that. And the eagle is now going to be able to go down because we funneled the queen a little bit. Now the royal champ needs to take this down. Come on, please. And the eagle is down. All right, so we go hound. Boom. We're going to fly our way in. Rain Warden. And we're going to drop a poison spell right through here. And drop some minions around like this. Another hound like that. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to go drop the blimp right through here. And headhunters. They're going to cut across like this. Drop the... Uh, pop the Warden ability. 
Drop the haste. Drop some minions across. Let's go ahead and freeze the town hall. And balloons onto the Tesla. Down it goes. The biggest issue is this Lava Hound. But we do have a lightning spell that we could use. But look at this difference right there. Because that queen made her way in towards that middle, we have so many more balloons left up. This hound, what are you doing, hound? Where are you going, defending hound? Oh, we got, we got plenty. We got, we got all this stuff still up. We can drop some archers this way, and we can drop the one lightning for the lava pups that end up coming out. But that one difference, that queen was able to now get that multi-target inferno. So that's the one thing I didn't do is funnel that. Oh, I didn't even need to use the lightning. Didn't funnel the queen in. That's it. And then I just needed it. And then all the the royal champ, all the angles. Man, just a small little change there. I was able to uh, get it, but now let's clean up the other one to see if that jump spell would make all the difference as well. I think the biggest difference is going to be that jump. If we can get that queen for the town hall, it'll make all the difference here. We do have the jump, but we don't have super wall breakers anymore. So we're going to go with a balloon, a baby dragon here, right? Ta and take that down. Drop the yeti up here with a wizard like that. So then that wizard will grab the army camp. Good. Drop the king here and drop the next wizard to get this dark elixir storage. We need that down. King's making his way around. Can the Yeti do it? What's the Yeti going to grab? And the Yeti dies off. And down it goes. Perfect. Okay, so King's tanking. Now this wizard's going to probably get a little bit of that. Pop that King ability early so the CC doesn't uh, mess too much with that King. And Queen's down. Wizard Tower is also down from the King. So we drop the Queen. And here's the jump spell. Some balloons. Healers from the Queen here. Now the Queen's charging in. Probably best to drop balloons pull the cc but we're just gonna charge in so that jump should give us access to the town hall through all this stuff and hopefully it does so let's go and rage that queen up and let's go ahead and drop a poison spell through here he's raged up clearing this and let's go and freeze all these headhunters otherwise it would be a nightmare let's go and drop a balloon here towards that queen stays raged up rage this queen up she'll be raged up for the near the town hall with those healers as she steps on by, she does. She can grab that. Let's switch this to Snow Slammer. Now, she can grab that Town Hall. That's exactly what I was talking about. Drop the balloons here. The Hound's coming across. Boom. Boom. Drop that Grand Warden. Some minions through here. Drop some balloons. Some more minions like this. Queen's now up on the top side. We'll drop the next Hound down here. Two balloons like this. Two more balloons like that. And we're going to haste our way through here. We even got another Rage spell. Look at this. All right, so we're going to push our way through. The Queen's on that. We even have the Royal Champion to deploy. Drop the Royal Champ through here. All right, we're waiting. We're going to be patient. Go and drop a Haste. We can pop that Grand Warden to protect everything. Royal Champ's going through here. We've got an extra Rage. we got a Freeze. Oh, man. It all came down to that. Pop the RC ability. Skips through this. Came down to that, that Jump Spell. And that's, what I, that's what I thought. I thought the super wall breaks might be best and then jump later in the raid. It turns out that what I should have done is just jump out straight from the bat to get the queen to go for the town hall. The super wall breakers messed up the pathing. I'm not a queen charge attacker, so it's those small things that I still, I mess up. I'm not, I'm not the best attacker, right? I, I stick mainly to the Sui Lols, but I fail those in the CW Lol too. Um, but yeah, you can see we, we triple it even without a, we swag a spell in the process, but let's see. How the war ended up so the war actually ended up 38 to 31 here we won this one and we were looking pretty good i don't want to jump into war four i don't want to show how that's going because that will be for tomorrow's video so keep an eye out for that make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because a lot of you guys over half of you that watch these videos aren't even subscribed if you didn't know that but yes hopefully you do enjoy the videos here today and every single day if you do hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content and i hope you guys have a wonderful day carmfin signing out peace